Hello, hello guys, and uh, welcome to another uh, tier list. Uh, I haven't done one since the Sonic game tier list, and today it's another Sonic related one, but today we're going over the cinematic intros for each game. Pretty self-explanatory, so let's get started. Right. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so first is the Sonic CD um, um, American uh, version, which, you know, it's the same from the Japanese version, just with a different song, so. And yes, I will be ranking them differently, as they are on the list, you know. God damn. It should be blatantly obvious where I put both of these, but, it, like... You can reach the other side of the rainbow. This intro is so fucking undefeated, dude. Like, Jesus. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. <laughs> Oh man, I fucking love Sonic Boom too. I, I <laughs> more so the ending version, but the the, the 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 this version is still like fantastic though. <laughs> and then right up, on up to Little Planet. Okay, I'm actually gonna l look at both of them, and then I'm gonna like just put both of them on the tier list at the same time since it is technically the same intro, just with a different song. This is the Japanese European version that used "You Can Do Anything." As I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, it feels like this song was made for this intro. <laughs> Look, I like Sonic Boom better, but for this intro, I think I like You Can Do Anything a little better. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know, it's just weird. Maybe I like them evenly. Sonic Boom! Oh yeah, to to Sonic, oh well, yeah. Da 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 da, to to Sonic, oh well, yeah. <laughs> and and hell, like they've actually, believe it or not, they've actually remixed "You Can Do Anything" way more than they have done "Sonic Boom." <laughs> you can do anything. Uh, I'm a nerd. I know. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Now, where do I put them both? It should kind of be pretty obvious here. I kind of, I kind of didn't go over the tiers yet, actually. It goes all right, and then, and then, <laughs> and, and, and then from here, it follows the the fucking Sonic Colors like trick system thing, where it'll say good, great, outstanding, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's pretty neat. Well, whoever did that, I I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah. These are going in amazing. I, I don't know what I don't know what to say. What song do I think fits the intro better? Probably, probably you can do anything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you can do anything fits the intro better. But Sonic Boom, I think, is the slightly better song. That's just me though. Um, I'm I'm probably not gonna try and do this order. Maybe the ones in Amazing will. I don't know about the rest though. We'll see what happens. Next. All right, time for that 3D blast intro. <laughs> the Saturn version. Oh my goodness! Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's the best it can be. Yeah, that's fine though. Hmm. 
thing is, I, I know I've seen t like snippets of this intro before, but I never actually looked at it before. Oh, whoa, why did it close up on them? Okay, 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 let's pause right there, pause right there. So, the 3D Blast Saturn opening. Well, well, first off and foremost, it's definitely, like, a, a ton better than the Genesis opening, which surprisingly isn't even on here. There's another intro cinematic that also isn't on here, but I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, but I don't know about that one. I, like, I was trying to see how I was going to go about, like, this list and say, hey, maybe it was good for its time or something, you know, but, you know, um, I think the 3D Blast one, from what I saw, it, it was kind of weirdly edited, I'll, I'll be honest, it was very weirdly edited, it, it, it's only alright, I'm trying to give it some credit, I don't think it's complete, like, asshole, because, like, again, you know, you know, for the time, and it wasn't Toei Animation doing it, it was, like, just their three, it was just, like, a 3D animation team or something doing it, you know, so, yeah, alright's good, alright, next. Alright, so I've never played Sonic Shuffle, and I've never even seen the intro at all, so this should be fun. Hmm. One of the cars. Oh, okay, whoa. Let <laughs> be honest, this already looks pretty good. Uh... Okay, 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 there we go. <laughs> I was wondering when the music was going to pick up, I was like, damn. <laughs> Man, this music is great though, oh my god. And also, this intro just looks pretty good in general, actually. Oh, broke the heart. <laughs> I forgot who was the antagonist or just or protags. Okay, 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 okay. That's that. That's the antagonist, I think. <laughs> I know, like, this game had a story mode to it. So, I know, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so the Sonic Shuffle opening, huh? Well, first off, it's definitely way better than, 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 the, than the 3D Blast one. The, 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 the 3D animation on it was actually pretty good. Like, this was a Dreamcast game, so, yeah, like, it pretty much fell in line with what I would expect from, you know, the Dreamcast and not a mainline game, you know? Now, as far as where I put it, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering between these two. I think it was pretty, I think, honestly, yeah, I think it was pretty good for a party game, yeah. You know what, I think I'll put it in good. Yeah, it was good. Actually, you know what, fuck it. I'm kind of going with my own, I'm kind of going with my heart on this one. I want to say great. Yeah, I really like that one, yeah. So, yeah, moving on. Next is the Sonic the Fighters opening. Metal Sonic right there, maybe. I, I don't know what the fuck that was, still. <laughs> it's like, not a whole lot goes on in this opening. It is it is just, like, you know, for, for, for the arcade, you know? It's, this, this is an arcade fighting game, so... <laughs> What, 1996? <laughs> that was when I was born. Yeah, see, and, and then it transitions into, you know, just actual gameplay, so yeah. Which, which I, I expect, you know, this, again, this was an arcade fighter. Alright, so, Sonic the Fighters. Um, I'll be honest, not much really went down there. Like, I, I guess they didn't, I, I, said, I guess they didn't really want to put too much 
effort and all that, since it, well, you know, it's, it's a, just a fighting game, I guess, I'm not, <laughs> not much really, not, I guess not much really went into it, you know. I think I can classify this under good, and I'll be honest, it's probably the only one that's gonna be in good tier. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Anyway, on to the next. Uh huh, man, are y'all ready? The Sonic Adventure 1 intro. Uh, man, from here on in, we're gonna start seeing some real good ones. And you already know one that's just gonna be an automatic amazing tier, but we're, 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 we're not there yet. In fact, there's probably gonna be a lot in a, an amazing tier or outstanding, but like, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, but let's just do the Adventure 1 intro already. Let's go. <laughs> My first 3D Sonic game. Everything seems fine, and then boop. <laughs> this was so epic just to see as a kid, you know, like, you, like you just knew Sonic for just r rolling around in these like g g green hill, g these green hills and shit, and like this fucking, and then just going from a laboratory and all that stuff. Just, just being a, a relatively, just being relatively happy. Um, uh, with the occasional Orbotnik level and all that, but then you just see this shit. <laughs> then you just see this shit. This, oh my god, like, this is so good. Like, hey, my boy, <laughs> fucking egg carrier. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> ah, Gamma. <laughs> Knuckles, big, yeah, all that. Like, wow. I'm... And then finally Sonic, man. Eggman was just chilling on top of the egg hair. That shot is so fucking good, where he's just chilling on top of the egg hair and shit, bro. Absolutely fucking incredible. I don't know what to fucking say, bro. Like that was the, like that was that the first true step into Sonic's 3D. Man, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even speak words right now. That intro is fire. It's always going to be fire. It, I don't uh, know if they ever remake the adventure games. I, I really hope they actually put forth some fucking like. Go the goddamn extra mile, you know what I mean? Just go the extra mile, remake that intro, like that, that would be so fucking good. The, the intro just completely just right off the bat shows you what the fucking stakes are in this fucking game, bruh. And then it follows through on those stakes at the fucking end when it shows you that cutscene again of Chaos just fucking shit up. And then you just, and then you just go into game where you're just surrounded by these broken buildings and stuff and then you fight chaos and all that stuff Th this was a fucking experience sonic adventures intro goes in fucking amazing i i do not i do not know i, I don't know what to say here <laughs> it goes in amazing there's no question moving on all right adventure two battles intro to yari no let's go Sonic. <laughs> I like how it just introduces all all the characters and stuff. <laughs> While Sonic and Shadow are just just getting closer and closer to each other. <laughs> what the hell was Knuckles doing there? Like I never understood that. <laughs> and then Rouge. <laughs> then this, then that like. <laughs> just saying live and learn during that. Alright, the Sonic Adventure 2 intro. So... Well, uh, obviously, and, and this probably is not going to come as a surprise, it's it's definitely not as good as Amazing. It's definitely it's definitely not as good as, like, um, the Adventure 1 intro. However, I do think it's it's short, simple, it gets the job done, it uses the in-game models for it, instead of, like, you know, its own, like, 
you know, a, a actual intro and all that. I still think, as, as as far as an intro is concerned, it's really not that good, I'll be honest with you. Like, for them using, like, the, uh, in-game, uh, the in-game in -game models for all, for all that stuff, I think it was presented fairly good. But I don't think it's on the, uh, it, yeah, it's not even on the same level as the shuffle one. Like, the shuffle one's fucking great, but, like, uh, this one, I want to say it's, there's more happening in this one than, it, than in the Sonic the Fighters one. So, it's better than that, obviously. I, th I, I think this one's in good. I will put this one in good. It's certainly iconic, but just looking at it in a vacuum, like as an intro, it, it's only just good, you know? It's still still better than whatever 3D Blast was, because even though it did use its own like unique like the, the, the 3D model for it, it still kind of just looked awkward and was edited weird as shit. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's in good tier. Moving on. Alright, next up is the Sonic Heroes intro. Let's just play it. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> you boy Knuckles. I do like how it mixes in like its its own like unique cutscenes with the story ones, you know. It gets the jobs done, it establishes all the characters and teams and all that. <laughs> then there's this view of the uh, the egg fleet and all that. It's funny since that's not even Eggman. Then they just tear it shit up. Sonic Hero. Uh, my boy Metal. <laughs> my boy Neo Metal, at least. On our way. Mm -mm -mm. Um, and the, this was the beginning of people not liking Sonic's stupid friends. And those people can fuck right off. <laughs> oh man, Sonic Heroes. <laughs> the song is iconic. It's one of my favorite. Uh, the song is, so, like, Sonic Heroes, the song is, is one of my favorite fucking lyrical tracks in the entire series. Like, bar fucking none. Probably my second favorite. My favorite probably, I don't know, maybe it's his role. Like, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, it's <laughs> It's, I never really know what my favorite is, but you know, still, it's, it's, it's really fucking good. That being said, the intro itself, amazing. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I can't deny it. I, I, I'm putting it amazing, fucking fantastic. Next, next up, Shadow the Hedgehog. I was gonna make a joke about him pumping the SMG, but that's but that gun actually fucking exists now. I'm pretty sure it, it only existed after Shadow, so you know, make of that what you will. Make of that. I'm sorry. I just miss I, I miss the days when Sega was just so unapologetically like they the, they will just get edgy and they won't fucking care. They will just fucking do it. It doesn't matter if it's concerning like fucking cartoon hedgehogs or anything, all that. It fucking works. Like it fucking works. Cause they wore they wore this shit on their fucking sleeve, and and no other game is more of an example of that than this game. Just look at this fucking intro. And they're and everyone's models here look amazing too. Like <laughs> And not to mention the song. Can you see all of me walking to my... Uh, man, I love this song. Hold on for dear life. Everyone's sending out their armies. Let me capture you and set you free. <laughs> He's so pissed off at that gun soldier, bro. <laughs> and even even though people don't like this, like right the, this right here where Sonic just, is just looking defeated and, is about, and look, just passing out. And so Shadow is just like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. 
Because, you know, this is his game, you know? Alright, so that was Shadow the Hedgehog intro. So, uh, regardless of what people think about the game, or, hell, even the contents of the intro in and of itself, you, you cannot deny. That's one of the best fucking CG, like, CGI intros that we have fucking had, you know? One of the best, like, it's, it's, it's not, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, just, just what's one of the best. It was really, really good. It, it even beat some future ones. <laughs> it, like, you can tell that a lot of fucking, like, effort just to show the tone of the game, just re uh, how much just went into that, you know? From Shadow on a fucking motorcycle, despite the fact that he doesn't even fucking need it, to him crashing it into a fucking alien as it- and then it just fucking explodes as he just hops out of the explosion, gun in hand. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just love how unapologetically fucking, uh, like, hardcore and edgy they were just- uh, they were just being, and for Shadow, it fucking works. Like, for Shadow specifically, it fucking works. It was just so, like, good. And, and she go without saying, I'm putting this in fucking amazing, but, uh, like, everything in that intro was just ama amazing. The fucking, the, the animation was fucking great, the action was great. Yeah, I think the intro is, is fucking amazing. It, it, it reminds me of the fucking good old days, because like, cause I, I, don't, I don't hate Shadow as, as a game, really. But that's just me, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, the intro itself, it's going in amazing. That's all I gotta say about that. Moving on. So hey guys, I'm stupid. I realized I was on mute this entire time. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say what I said in the beginning later, but yeah. This intro is fucking amazing. Those takes had amazing ass fucking CG in it. And then here comes the boy. You never saw him in that position. How? Uh, you, oh, ne no, never mind. <laughs> this intro was so damn good. Oh my god! Like, jeez. Boop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was never bothered by how Eggman looked when I first saw this as a, uh, uh, like, as like 12 or something, yeah, when I saw this. I finally found him. And then Silver. The Iblis Trigger. Well, alrighty then. Alright, so, uh, unlike the CD ones, you know, I'm, I'm gonna look at these, uh, and, and rank them s separately. So, um, so yeah, that intro was really fucking good, like, really good. The first time I saw it, I was like 12 when I would actually gotten the game. Um, and I, I know a common complaint that people have about that intro is the fact that just looking at it, you couldn't even tell that it's a Sonic game. Uh, unless you physically bought the fucking game, the beginning portion of that cutscene, you wouldn't even know it was from a Sonic game. Especially with the lease and all that, like, you could put a lease into, like, Final Fantasy and she wouldn't look out of place, you know? But you know what? Like I said, I think all that stuff is fine. Like. I think I think it's fine. Song doesn't always have to look like how you expect them to look, you know. Like they can branch out into stuff, you know. I think they. I think well. I think as far as the in-game models are concerned, they may have gone. Uh, they may have tried to be be a little too realistic. Like again, this and I mean specifically with the you know with the in-game you know stuff. The CGI looks fucking amazing though, because like the CGI cutscene is like that how how it's styled. I think that the humans and, you know, the, the, the Sonic characters, you know, fit, you know, since humans and Sonic characters do just live in the same world, and they always have. But I do get some people's complaints, though, but I don't care. I'm actually, am going to put that. I think it just misses the mark of amazing. Outstanding is where I'll, I'll, I'll put Sonic's intro. It's still pretty damn good, though. Since half the time he kind of, since half the time he wasn't even there, which... The other two intros don't share that, uh, don't like share like that. But, I mean, I do think it was good for setting up like the story and stuff. Like Sonic didn't necessarily have to be there. Like his intro was actually pretty damn good. Like uh, like him him just be him not showing up until Eggman showed up. You know, him beating up those robots and stuff while he's just looking there like in awe, and then and then he just 
boops that robot like the, all, all the fucking edge and stuff. <laughs> I, I almost want to put it in amazing, but I think it, I, I, again, I feel like it just, I mean, just misses the mark of amazing, you know? Outstanding is still like good, like that, 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 that that's essentially like A tier, you know? So it's whatever. Uh, anyway, moving on. All right, and we're back with uh, Shadow's intro in Sonic 06. Let's go. Which is probably the best one. <laughs> it just gets straight to it. There's Shadow, there's robots, and he's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> and it looks so fucking good. This is this is 2006, by the way. Like, good lord. And then teleport. Boop. All right. Um, it's definitely a bit more. Like it, it, it's definitely shorter than Sonic's. I think because half of Sonic's was like establishing like the, the festival of the sun and Elise and all that. Shadow just got straight to the point with him just going in, going into Doctor Eggman's base, just fucking blazing, beating all the fucking robots, just leaving a fucking cool guys don't look don't look at it fucking explosions ass like a shot right there. And then him establishing why he's there, and then he goes to fulfill the mission. It, it's pretty. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. It establishes why he's there, what he's doing, and all that stuff. And we got some good action from it. I do think it's the best one. I'm not sure if I would put it in a mix. Like it looks so fucking good. You know what? Fuck it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be a biased bitch and just put in uh, amazing. I, <laughs> I love Shadow too much and not put in amazing. <laughs> all right, and we're back with a uh, Silver's intro. And man, could I not, like, find the intro by itself that just actually looked good. I don't know why, but I just couldn't. <laughs> but, but anyway, yeah, let's just get to it, though. This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. Life is a struggle, and people live without hope. How are there people living here? Like, just normal humans are still just alive at this point? Like, I had always thought it was just completely ruined except for Silver and, like, maybe a few people. I'm not, I don't know. But, god damn, like, Silver's, like, Silver's ESP, like, just shining off him and shit. This shit looks fucking amazing, like, good oh god. I know I keep saying this, but, like... Like and, and 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 I could tell with with Silver's voice, and like he was he was already based off Trunks, and I can tell with Silver's voice they were trying to like, yeah, like I'm sorry, yeah, even his voice they were trying to go for a Trunks feel with his voice, you know, and and yeah, that was the last uh, 06 one with Silver's intro. I think it goes in, oh, whoa, okay, m m my screen flared again. I don't know if you saw, saw that or not, but but yeah, anyway, yeah, it, it, I think it goes in outstanding. Again, it just misses the mark of amazing, but it's still pretty damn good. It, it, estab it establishes a silver story, and by this point in the story, you have probably already played like um, Sonic's story by this point, and and it's kind of up to you whether or not you would want to even go with Shadow as the next one or Silver as the next one. I, I don't know, but you had already ran to Silver twice. Well, like three times actually, and 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 uh, and you're just curious as to what the fuck like is going on with him, where he came from, and all that, you know. So I think this does a pretty good job at setting this up, as well as the following cutscenes and all that. So yeah, as an intro for a story, pretty damn good. It's in outstanding. All right, we're off of 06 now. Next. All right, I think it's pretty fitting for the next one be the game that they separated Sonic Team to fucking make instead of having all hands on deck for 06. Still stupid decision, but whatever. Anyway, this is Sonic and the Secret Rings. Intro. Let's go. Wow, 
What I don't like is how they didn't, like, just have one, have, a, like, a special intro ready for the game, actually, because this is... What's happening here is just the events of later in the story just happening, you know? But they just use it as an intro. I'm still gonna wreck it, and it still looks pretty good. Yeah, there's not much to really say here. Like, again, this cutscene more so fits with it later in the story, so. As opposed to being the first thing you see about Secret of Rings, you know, but I, I I don't think it kind of works to show what kind of vibe the, the game's going with, like Arabian Nights and all that magic and all that shit. Then there's the main baddie, a Razor Jin. <laughs> And then he just gets on top of his throne just to show off a little bit, then close his door, then close. <laughs> and Sonic is just ready for action. Let's go. <laughs> like this right here just looks fucking epic with the flame on his chest, and then he just has a. Just, see, th this is fucking epic right here. Okay, yeah, and then it just cuts off like there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it just kind of cut off right there because that's him heading towards like the final level, you know. Which is why I said it works better there than an intro, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that was the Secret Rings one. But yeah, like I said, the quote-unquote intro was better conveys what you're about to do in the final level more than it does convey a fucking intro. But how it looks in general, it looks pretty damn good. I don't, I just, I just don't think it's as good as the other ones. But it's right there where it is. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, next. Alright, so for this list, I was kind of, sort of, relatively going in order a little bit. But uh, now we're gonna get a little bit screwy with the order. A little, because uh, right now I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I'm handling the storybook series. And then I think next would just be all writers games. You know, even though they happen, like, uh, in, like, ga bigger gas of each other and all that. But whatever. Right now, we have the Black Knight intro. <laughs> Man, I still haven't played this game, so... <laughs> hey, I probably should at some point. <laughs> Since, you know, everyone practically agrees that it's better than Secret Rings, but, you know. Swift as the wind. <laughs> And then Sonic. <laughs> Sonic was falling from the sky a lot. <laughs> like, Sonic really just falls from the sky a lot. <laughs> That's one of his first priorities was to get his fucking chili dogs back. But honestly, I wouldn't even want them no more. Because, like, all that dust that went and just piled up on them and stuff. Well, all the dirt, I guess. Oh, 
immediately recognize this threat. <laughs> Has him a little fucking snack. And then immediately... <laughs> he just ran past them once and picked up enough wind to just... <laughs> That's one stable chili dog. All the chili... All the chili would have been fucking... And that's his second chili dog gone. Oh well. <laughs> he still tries to reach for it. Oh yeah, this is a pretty damn good intro. Yeah. And then we got the rest of the knights. <laughs> That's the thing, I, I never watched anything past that, like, where Sonic, uh, went and bodied all them and stuff, so. Huh. Well, yeah, this is a damn good intro, honestly. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, like, the, the intro, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, not that much action, but I think it does the job that it needs to do. It kind of gets you intrigued as to what the fuck's happening and all that, you know. It's, it's a new storybook game, so, which, which, I mean, they only started calling it that buy this game. I wish we got another one. But that's at the point. I think Black Knight's intro falls under outstanding. Yeah, I don't um I yeah, I don't have much to say about that. I think it's pretty good. Moving on. Alright, on to the writer series. Now here's the thing. This intro I'm about to look at right now isn't even on the list. I'm a little confused by that since um it falls under the same sort of category of intro as most others in the on this list do and they even added all three like story intros for all six it's a little weird we don't have to watch it but i'm gonna <laughs> it's playing the, the fuck i i don't know what that song is I, I can't remember where that song is from <laughs> A little bit of competition, let's go. First introduction of the Babylon Rose. And Knuck <laughs> Knuckles knocked him on his ass. Makes me wonder why Sonic didn't like, attempt a homing attack one of them or something, I don't know. It really just does fit Saudi's character to just hop on a fucking hoverboard because he just thinks it looks fun. Even while he's trying to catch a criminal. Get fucked. 
I don't like the amount of detail on that nigga beak. Oh, new competition. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah, like I said, the, the, the intro we just watched isn't even on the tier list at all. Uh, just as a little honorable mention, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and... I'll, I, I would honestly go ahead and put that in... Uh, outstanding, honestly. Like, that was actually really good. I'm surprised it wasn't on the tier list. But, yeah, this is the actual one. It's be This is the actual, like, intro for the game that, you know, it's better... So, you know, it makes sense this is the one on the tier list and not that one, but I still hope that the other one would be. But anyway, yeah. This is the actual Sonic Riders intro. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Speed. <laughs> For, like, three models aside, like, Sonic Riders, like, 2D style is so... Fucking clean, like it is so fucking good. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, just... I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm so fucking immature. I just, I just remembered some, some called me Johnny's fucking comment about, about the fucking soundtrack where that nigga was going. Ugh. <laughs> that nigga said, "Why does it sound like you fucking the soundtrack?" <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking, I'm so fucking immature. Shout out to some called me Johnny, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's continue. Yeah, see, like, I feel like if Sonic has to land on one, like, racing gimmick, I think, I think Riders is the best one. It, like, it has him, oh my god, <laughs> the Tails gets jumped. <laughs> Why'd they have to jump Tails like that? Not okay. No. Like, just look at this, doesn't it, like, you, you can't tell me anime in this style wouldn't it be fucking clean as hell. <laughs> fucking incredible. Alright, so the Sonic uh, Riders intro, like the, the actual one. That is just blatantly um, an, an, an amazing tier. I, I don't need to explain myself there. Well, but yeah, I, I was saying, like, if Sonic is gonna, like, stay on, on like established like a uh, racing style i think riders is like the best one besides on foot but anyway yeah the intro is amazing moving, moving on all right time for zero gravity And, and, and I, I like how writers like pad lore and stuff, you know. You know, with the Babylon, uh, with the, with the Babylon rogues and all that, and uh, their like home and all that. I, I kind of forgot what their home was called. Probably Babylon. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot how like their like lore and all that stuff included and all that, but I'm not sure. I like how Riders just takes place in this, like, futuristic-ass, like, city and all that. Is this the meteor that fell last night? Yeah. The sound of the impact woke me from my sleep, and I found it outside. Man, yeah, one just laid outside your workshop. <laughs> I like how Nuggles is just chilling here. Like, I'm not even sure if he even has, like, a reason to be here besides that he's just chilling. I guess he just, I guess he doesn't... Guard the Master Emma all the time, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> they kind of just forgot about its existence at this point in time, but whatever. <laughs> no, there you go. This is still great. <laughs> 
Yeah, put your damn seatbelt on. So like what? Like is this like I wonder if this like futuristic ass like city and stuff is just where they just choose to is where they just choose to have their airboards and all that shit. <laughs> Like, you know, it's weird. Like, they, they have the airboards just already on deck. I, f I forgot if they already knew if a turbo was happening or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, doesn't question it. Just immediately starts to just try and have some fun with this random-ass gravity ring you found. All right, that was uh, Zero Gravity's intro. Uh, yeah, it, it was pretty good. Like, it, it wasn't meant to be, like, a, a like, intro intro. Like, like uh, you know, like uh, the original writers was. It was meant to be... More so, like a story establishing one, you know. So zero gravity, I think, had more lore in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it did. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm actually am going to put that in outstanding. I think it was really good. All right, time for free riders. And also, on a side note, <laughs> why do they call him G U N? Call him Gun. Jeez. <laughs> also, people tend to not like this song, but I fucking love this song. I think the Crush 40 version is better, but th this song is still good. And oh my god. <laughs> Jet's still a fucking cheater, jeez. Like, I, honestly, I think as an intro, this the, the, like this one is really like good. It's it's like, it shows gameplay, but in a very flashy way, and uh, along with that cutscene in the beginning. This game annoys me, because they never tried Riders again because of this. Alright, that was the Free Riders intro. But yeah, like I was saying, man, I, I hate that like they never tried Riders again after Free, uh, Free Riders because of how much it like flopped and was hated. It was hated because of the fucking Connect. Yet they just never tried it again with just you know regular fucking controls. You know, uh, I, I I really hope they do try it again some fucking day. Like, because honestly, I would have rather they do that instead of Team Sonic racing. You know, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, as far as an intro goes. I'll put it in outstanding too. Uh, yeah, not not really much to say about that one. It's just yeah, a pretty good intro. Next, you already fucking know, yo. We got the mother of all fucking intros here. This is like debatably, but damn near undebatably, the best CG intro that Sonic has had. Period. Probably the best intro. Period. Actually. <laughs> Just look at all this, man. Like, good lord. Like, please put this... Please put this fucking game on modern consoles, for God's sake, Sega. Please. You don't even gotta, like, remake or anything like that. Just remaster it a little bit. Hell, it barely even needs a remaster. Just put it on modern consoles and you're good. Like, the game just looks good already by itself. It barely even needs a remaster. Just make sure the frame rate issues are... Or, or fixed, which will probably fix itself being on PS5, since the original Unleashed works fine on Series X. And also, just look at this shit! Look at this shit! <laughs> Oop. And just shoulder bashes through the motherfuckers, like... <laughs> and then Eggman just comes out to, uh, comes out immediately and start, with the smoke, like, seriously. <laughs> Everything here just looks fucking... God damn it. <laughs> the squash and stretch, it, like, it, it's just the, it's just the right amount of squash and stretch. It shows Sonic just having fun with it too, bruh. And then he, he gets captured and then he's like... He gets captured and he's like, alright, yeah, fuck it. I got that thing on me. Let's go. I got... <laughs> I like to think that this is just Sonic, like, uh, um, Sonic just, just getting through a previous adventure he had just got through, and he just blasts through all the motherfuckers. <laughs> like, this is, like, I like to think of this cutscene as just the end of a Sonic game that we didn't get to play, but... <laughs> 
because he has all the chaos animals already. He, like he already went through those puzzle stages and all that other bullshit. Like this is just the end of a Sonic game we didn't get to play. <laughs> but Eggman being him, he has he uh, like he, he has a fucking backup plan, which wasn't his actual plan. You know what I mean? Of course, that just had cannon, but you know. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha. Damn, and this was just... <laughs> he actually made a... like. This is why Eggman is such a fucking beast, bro. Like, he, he has machines that can't be destroyed by Supersonic specifically, and he has shit that can just trap Supersonic as well as extract the Chaos Emeralds. Like, he just, like, he just owned Supersonic just like that, you know? <laughs> Like I, it, it back boggles the mind how Eggman's able to make such powerful machinery to fuck to fucking rival like Sonic and Super Sonic too. Like it's 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 fucking wild considering how it's, it, considering how broke Sonic himself is as well as Super Sonic. It's, it's wild. And not to mention, we just start off the fucking game with him just shattering the goddamn Earth. <laughs> like the stakes are already fucking high as shit. And the game hasn't even started yet. Like, you haven't even played a level yet. And all of this is just so cinematically fucking fantastic. Like, and, God damn it. <laughs> and this is the last time they would attempt to have a, a animated intro that's even cool as close to as cinematic as this. Oh, yep. And then everyone's most hated part about this game comes out. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, and there's Dark Gaia. <laughs> so, personally speaking... The Werehog is fucking clean, but how, how did he transform his shoes into fucking cleats? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure where they say this, or where it's stated, maybe it's in-game, maybe I forgot, I don't know, but apparently no one died during this, and if that's never been officially said, then I consider that a whole, a whole lot of bullshit. No way motherfuckers did not die when this happened. And it's not even like Eggman is against doing that type of shit anyway, he was about to blast Earth in Adventure 2, so... <laughs> Oh man! Oh fucking man! I, I, like, do, do I do I do I even need to, need to say shit? <laughs> do I need to say shit? In fact, let me. Uh, 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 hold on, let me try and order this a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, all right then. Yeah, that 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 is my current order for Amazing Tier. Again, these aren't ordered. These I'm going to try to make them. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what to fucking say. The Unleashed intro is so goddamn good. That's the last time they attempted to even do anything as remotely cinematic as that. Like, it's it's damn well, like, movie levels of cinematic. Like, good fucking lord. I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it, it's an amazing tier. You, you already knew that. Uh, yeah, moving on. <laughs> Alright. A tough act to follow, I know. But, you know, um, I'm not here, here to compare. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to compare that much. But anyway, uh, yeah, Sonic Colors... Ooh, my bad. <laughs> oh, colors. <laughs> I 
But yeah, this intro was still like pretty damn good. All the wisp and stuff. <laughs> Before the fan base would grow to hate them. <laughs> and then Orbot and Cubot showed up. Ugh. I'm gonna reach for the stars. Like, 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 god damn, like this? <laughs> this also just looks fucking fantastic too, dude, like. And this is something you can just see on Wii, like, what? How it transitions from him using the different Wisp power-ups and stuff, like... <laughs> Wisp jump scare. You bought a straight-up Jack Eggman right there. <laughs> Alright, so before we uh, go on to, you know, back to the tier list, uh, we're doing the same thing we did with CD, where uh, this is uh, the Sonic Colors Ultimate intro with a remix of the song. And, you know, obviously it slightly looks better considering it's, you know, modern hardware and all that. <laughs> it's weird how they were trying to I find it I'll, I almost find it weird how they were trying to push like reach for the stars as like Sonic's like theme you know what I mean like how like back in the day it was like open your heart and uh, open your heart and all that and or, or like um sorry not open your heart fucking <laughs> fuck I, how, how did I just forget the name of this theme wow you know it, it, so, so, sometimes people would associate this theme with being his world some would associate it with live and learn for some reason it doesn't matter there we go yeah it, it doesn't matter what was this theme back in the day too you know that but you know i like how sega was kind of trying to push this as being his theme and i don't really like that per se <laughs> also this remix is pretty damn good <laughs> all right uh the tangent i went on aside uh but yeah those were the sonic colors uh, intros so first let's tackle the original one i'll be honest Amazing, yeah. <laughs> this is a straight up amazing ass intro. <laughs> um, it, it, it puts me in a weird position because I am like mostly basing these off of like what's happening on the screen rather than the music. But if the music does play a factor, then I'll probably factor that in just just like how I uh, just with the CD ones, you know. So I like Heroes is in I like Heroes is in intro song better, but it's probably better than the Heroes one. It's, it's deadly. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, and then Ultimate, um, still pretty good. I'm gonna put it below that, though, because I don't, because the, uh, the, 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 the remix is fine for Reef of the Stars, I just don't, it's just not better. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, both of them are amazing. Moving on. All right, now we got Sonic Generations intro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> running through uh, Green Hill, which isn't all the way there yet. <laughs> and then Classic Sonic, out of nowhere. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't really like this song here. It sounds very Sonic 4. Alright then, uh, the Generations intro. I'll be honest, I thought, I thought like that, that, uh, cinematic, uh, like, uh, you know, like the, uh, what's it called? The cinematic trailer where it showed, like, Sonic and Classic Sonic, you know, like, uh, like surfboarding through, like, um, 
city escape and all that. I thought that would also be in the intro, but I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> so, gonna be honest with you, not that good. Not that fucking good. <laughs> it's finely animated, sure, but it doesn't really do anything for me, really. It's gonna be an alright, just, just better. It's, it's just better than that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, not that good. So, yeah, sorry, Generations. I love you to bits, but your intro is kind of not good. Moving on. Next up, the Lost World opening. <laughs> he just j jumps up, jumps out the graphic. It's very short. What was that flip for? <laughs> not, not like seriously. What was that flip for? I mean, I guess to show off, which is pretty in character, so fine, sure. But um, yeah, that one, that intro existed. <laughs> that intro certainly existed. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it establishes what kind of tone the game's going for, and it shows you the main villains and all that, which I suppose is fine for what it's trying to do. I still think it's all right, though. All right, now for the CGI opening cutscene, like, you know, when you start the game. Drop the critters, Eggman! Drop... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying not to go off in so much tangents and all that, but I'm I'm and I I I don't know. Maybe this is a my hot take, but uh, I love Roger, but the Lost World ha has to be his worst fucking performance ever. He sounds so unbelievably whiny in this game, and I do not know why. That drop the critters egg bad was so fucking lame. I'm sorry. I couldn't I couldn't glance past that without saying something. <laughs> Moving on. And what do you mean drop the critters? You are in the air. And were you trying to press the button? I mean I mean I mean like fair, you, you you've done it before, but I don't Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're kind of saving him from dying. Pulls out the damn gun. <laughs> I, 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 and I still don't like Orion and Cubot. Anyway, uh, and suddenly, Lost Hex. What? See, what I do like about this is the fact that... Well, hold on, let me... I'll, I'll, I'll save my thoughts for later. What I like about that that intro is the fact that, um, you know, uh, uh, like, when uh, when they say they need to land and it's going to be a little bumpy and all that, like, uh, after they cut out, it cuts right into the first level where Tails drops you off there as as he flies off trying to find a place to land. I do I do like that. It's, it's a good transition into the first level. I, I do like that. That being said... Uh... I kind of don't know what to feel <laughs> about that intro. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it does 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 do a good job of landing you in the first level and all that. But if I if I just looked at this, if, if I just I mean, here's the thing, I didn't look up anything related to Lost World like before it came out at all. Like I kind of just like I, I didn't keep up with any trailers or anything like that. But if I just watched this, n not having the game, not knowing shit about it, which I have done uh, before, um, I feel like I would kind of know what the story is about but it doesn't show the deadly six at all that that but that, that, that'll be the intro's job so i guess in tandem with that it doesn't really need to since both will more than likely play if you let them but i'm, I'm not sure i think it would go in yeah i'll be honest the intro doesn't really do anything for me it's it's not all right i think it's good 
I think it's good, but it'll be a cold day in hell. I put I, I, I put it over Adventure 2's. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just good. It, I think it's animated well. I think I think it has a somewhat decent level of action to it. Um, it does a good job transitioning into the first level, so I think it's not bad. But it's just it's just I it's good. Whatever. Yeah, moving on. Alrighty, alrighty, all fucking righty. <laughs> I feel like y'all should already know how I feel about the, uh, this fucking one. <laughs> One, two, three, K, and M, and M. There we go. Yeah, fuck four. <laughs> even though I like it, even though I like episode two. But anyway, <laughs> my boys, fucking back at it, fucking again. <laughs> oh man. Like, I don't have much to say since I, I, I had already gushed about the game and this intro in my tier list video, so. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Just to gush again, this intro is goddamn amazing. Beautifully fucking animated. Uh, I forgot what the anim- I think, I think it's like Tyson Heast or something, I, 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 I don't know. I'll- <laughs> I forgot what the actual like who the actual people who animated this are. Like, the song is by T Lopes, of course, but like, Alright, but we're not done. We're gonna transition right into the alternate song. Just like with C D and colors. <laughs> Which is fine, since this intro wasn't really that long and honestly I'm not gonna get tired of looking at it. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, wow! It actually, man, it has some like, like s actual like sound effects going on. Like you can hear that, like. I, I wonder why this is like an alternate one. Is was it supposed to be for like Mania Plus or something? I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, this game makes me f so goddamn happy, bro. <laughs> and this intro too. Huh. Well, I'm not really sure what you want me to say besides. It's going in amazing. <laughs> it's going straight in fucking amazing. However, this is where the order comes in, and uh, I'm a little torn. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. This seems right. This this, this does seem right. <laughs> it's an amazing tier. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> it's down. It's downright amazing. I I, I I don't need to tell you why it's an amazing. You know. Moving on. All right, second to last, Team Sonic Racing's intro. Let's go. I love the main guitar. I love the main guitar like riff of of Green a Green Light Ride. I love it though. I love the the. I love that. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I, I I love I love the song like just overall too. But I I just mainly love that. When people heard that Crush Forty was back, dude! Oh my goodness! <laughs> now, I'm not gonna talk about the game in general because like I I I could talk about how weird Team Sonic Racing is for as a as a game for me, but you know. <laughs> But I kill the motherfuckers, like man, jeez. I love this part right here, where they just surround him and then just lead him right into a fucking ice. <laughs> Great. 
Eggman just fucking dies. Let's go. But, but damn, like, the, yeah, this intro just looks really fucking good. It shows off a game mechanic in cinematic style, like it... <laughs> and it's just Sonic and them, and team just being them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Team Sonic Racing intro. Um, I think it's a pretty good outstanding, yeah. I think outstanding is a good place for it. <laughs> I don't have much to say about it. It's a good, it's a good, uh, you know, intro for a racing game and all that. I, f I feel as if Transformed is has a better intro, but that's technically not even a Sonic game, which is why they're not even on this list in the first place. Um, I'm not gonna watch them, of course. I, I was only doing that for writers. Um, so, yeah. On to the last one. Alrighty, then. More Origins. <laughs> this is honestly just what the fuck a doctor ordered, man. Like, I, I love this intro, too, man. And hell, even even as much as I love Mania's intro, I feel like I like this one better. Oh. <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't know. That's just how I... Maybe just how I'm feeling right now. I don't know. Alright, we have finally reached the end point. <laughs> with Sonic Origins intro. Which... I'm a little torn on, like, do I like it better than Mania's? I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about it. No, I don't. In fact, I actually like Adventures a little better than that one. So, so yeah, but yeah. I was, I was kind of tripping. <laughs> I was kind of tripping a little, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's... I think it goes perfectly there. Alright, and that would be that were the Sonic Cinematics tier list. The, cin the cinematic intros, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. So yeah, as I establish, everything down everything down there not ordered, everything up here is ordered. However, I think all right tier is probably ordered. I think yeah, let's do yeah, let, 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 yeah, let's let's do that. So yeah, the 3D last one, the worst opening here. Well, the best opening here goes undoubtedly to Unleashed. I feel like you do that before even <laughs> we even got here. That it was gonna be number one. Either that or CD, but yeah, LA, but yeah, it's just so unbelievably good. It's it's literally a goddamned movie. <laughs> just movie levels of fucking animation and stuff. And I'm wondering why they never decided to just try that again. You know. Because, you know, we, we've had CGI afterwards that looks pretty damn good, too. But Unleashed still looks the best years fucking later. Like, years fucking later. Like, damn near a decade. Like, it, it's wild, you know? <laughs> but yeah, guys, that'd be my tier list. Um, I actually had a, a pretty good amount of fun um, making this. Just chilling, watching some Sonic shit. But yeah, I enjoy doing this. But yeah, that'll be it. If you agree or disagree with some places I put some certain intros and stuff, please uh, tell me so in the comments if you want to. Uh, I do plan on doing some more stuff like this, so not even just Sonic stuff, you know? Um, and, and of course, not even just tier lists, uh, along with my other Friday Night Funkin' stuff and all that. So yeah, I hope you'll all look forward to future videos. That being said, uh, peace out, guys.